Hi there! Welcome back to my channel! And so for today's vlog, I'm gonna share to you some of our math activities. So maybe for now, you are now considering to homeschool your child because of the season. And maybe you're asking yourself then, am I capable of doing that? Am I capable of teaching my child? Especially your math. So like for me, I'm not, uh, I wasn't born na best friend yung numbers and I was having the same thoughts you are having now kung kaya ko bang magturo lalo na yung math well in fact yung mga math principles na nung estudyante pa ako na hindi ko talaga naintindihan ngayon ko lang siya naintindihan nung nagtuturo na ako ng first grader na anak ko So we will share to you some activities that we do in learning math and um, ang, ang hope namin is to really encourage you na kahit hindi mo best friend yung numbers kagaya ko ay maturuan mo talaga yung anak mo with mathematics. But first, we will uh, go back to the basic, okay? Basic principle or basic operation. So when we say basic operation, we'll start with addition. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna share to you some tips kung paano ko tinuruan si Zoe with addition. Okay, so if you're ready, let's go! Okay, so here are some of the activities na ginagawa namin um, in mathematics with addition. Later, isa-isahin ko siya sa inyo how we do it. But uh, we started with hands-on activities. So when we say hands-on activities, hindi mo na kami nag-jump into memorization or kaya um, nagsagot ng mga worksheets. And sometimes we do it ng mga games. So with games and experiential activities. So you might be asking me, bakit namin ginagawa to with hands-on activities? So why is it important to start with hands-on activities rather than memorization when it comes to math? So, because math for them is abstract. So, for them, sa mga bata, abstract yung math. And without introducing um, concrete examples, this will remain abstract to the children. So, maybe, kaya hindi ko siya naintindihan ng bata ako, is because naiwan lang ako dun sa box na abstract. It is important that the children have strong foundation in number sense. So, ibig sabihin, uh, they can al already recognize numbers and they can already count. But this counting is not just yung plain counting na magka-count lang sila ng 1 to 10. But they have to understand that yung numbers, they represent something. Okay, so I'm ready now to present to you one by one yung mga activities namin in math. But before that, let me just remind you that all of these activities are for free. So pwede nyo siyang ma-print at magamit with your children. Uh, just uh, refer to the link in the description box below. So, you will get these activities for free. Alright, so let's start! So, what we need here in this activity ay yung plate na merong tatlong compartments. So, kailangan natin yung tatlong compartments para makita nila kung paano nangyayari yung addition. Then, we have here yung mga counters. So, pwede kayong gumamit ng bato or kahit na anong counters na available dyan sa mga bahay nyo. And then, we have here the cards. So, yung cards na addition cards. So, here. Okay, these are all free. Uh, just refer to the link in the description box below. Okay, so like for example, this one. So, here's the step. Okay, you, can you get a card? Okay, I got this card. So, let's see how it um, works, okay? So, it says, I have here one goat. So, I have to put one here. Okay, but plus nothing, plus zero. So, I won't put something here in this compartment. And then, addition is basically putting things together. So, I combine ko lang yung mga counters na nandito sa counter dito and ilalagay ko siya dito sa bigger compartment. I'm now gonna put this one here and since ito wala siyang laman, wala akong gagawin, di ba? Wala akong ito place sa bigger compartment. So, it means that 
1 plus 0 or plus nothing is equals to 1. Okay, let's have another example. This one. Okay, I have here 1 hen plus 1 hen. Okay, so I'm going to put 1 here in the first compartment and then another one in the other compartment. And then I'm going to combine them together. So this means 1, 2. So that means when we combine it, 1 and 1 makes 2. This activity, we're using these 10 frames. So, yung 10 frames, um, ito isa siya sa mga tool na ginagamit para um, mag -ma develop yung number sense ng mga bata. So, basically, it's just a rectangle na meron siyang 10 frames. So, 5 on top and 5 on the bottom. Again, we will use math manipulatives or counters to represent numbers less than or equal to 10 on the frame. Uh, they provide kids actually with a visual of numbers. So, hindi lang siya memorization or counting without meaning, but it shows also the kids the value of numbers. Here are the steps. Okay, so I'll just get a card here. So, it says here, 1 plus 3. And then, I'm gonna put 1 counter on top of the frame. So, 1 and then, I, I will put 1, 2, 3 on the bottom frame. So, I'll get 1, 2, and 3. And then, I'm gonna count them all together. So, that means 1 plus 3 equals 1, 2, 3, 4. Here in this activity, kailangan natin itong let's add na game board. So, we have player 1 and player 2. mag raise lang din sila with uh, this game. And then, this one is the recording sheet. So, each of the player will receive this recording sheet wherein i-record -re nila yung mga answer nila with the addition problem. And then, we have here the cards. Ito yung mga cards na kailangan nilang isolve and i-figure out. So, let's say for example, this one, 2 plus 2. Okay, so, kailangan na maglagay sila ng counters here. 1, 2, and then 2 on the other frame. So, that means 2 and 2 makes 1, 2, 3, and then 4. And they have to record it here. So, 2 plus 2 equals 4. And then, they have to put dots. Okay, so that means 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 2 plus 2 makes 4. 